Good evening, friends. I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can install Linux in Amazon Linux 2023. So Amazon Linux 2023, there is a new uh, Linux from Amazon. And uh, this is based on Fedora. Previously, what we had in Amazon Linux 2, there was on CentOS, actually CentOS 7. And Amazon Linux 2023, that is on Fedora. This is the very first time we are, we have seen things on Fedora. So what we are going to use in uh, Amazon Linux 2023 is going to install uh, like the uh, Nginx and set up a website over there and see how these things are working. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing, we will be doing is that uh, we are going to create a new instance and then we are going to uh, connect with that instance and update those packages there. So I'm going to launch a new instance. I'm going to give it a name uh, that is. Uh, Amazon Linux 2023. Uh, here uh, we are going to choose Amazon Linux 2023 AMI and uh, T2, T2 Micro is fine. I'm going to use a key pair or I will be creating a new one. Amazon Linux. So then I'm going to uh, create a new security group and I'm going to choose MC2 world launch instance. So uh, the instance is created. I'm going to go to the details of the instance. And then I'm going to follow the instructions which is given in this article. I'm going to give the link of this article in the video description. If you have any interest, you can just copy these things. The first instruction is how do you connect to your instance from uh, SSH, but I'm going to use uh, session manager. So this time you can make it. Everything starts from here. I go to this and I go to launch and then I'm going to Yeah, I have to do this this is the number ten. So I'm going to use session manager next to you. Okay, so um, fine. let's create a subdomain at first. So we've done an AL23, Amazon Linux 23. And then uh, I think I can copy the IP address here. Or from here, you can copy the IP address. Next, I will stop it. And let's create a DNS. So it should be al23.rtp.xyz. Then I'm going to uh, elevate the root privilege. So you see. And after that, it's pretty simple. Just copy paste. Copy. Paste here. Run. You see the difference? Previously, we used to use yum, but now we used to use DNF, that is for Fedora. So, that's been installed, and we have Nginx version, what is the version? Uh, 1.1.22. That's the latest. So, that's good. Then uh, I'm going to start the Nginx. That's very simple. 
And then I'm going to enable the Nginx. Oh, where is the enable part? Okay, here it is. So uh, once you enable, then that means if you restart your uh, instance, it will be auto started. That means your Nginx will be auto running. Otherwise, you have to manually run it again, which is really awkward. So, uh, so this is the status in Linux. I copy and then I paste it here. I'm going to check the status, and the status is active and running. That's good. Let's go to visit our uh, domain, which we have like al23.rtp.xyz. Sounds good. Al. .xyz, and it should probably show you some good yeah welcome to nginx that's good that's running so it means that we have successfully set up nginx we have successfully pointed our domain or subdomain into the instance now we're going to install an um let's click so um that's that will be quite tricky right how do we do that so I haven't covered the Nginx installation part. I will probably add that in in later section. But let's go to uh, start bot. And uh, let's see if start bot is giving us Nginx installation. So we have Nginx and the system is uh, Fedora. Is it the system and uh, popcorn? Oh, really simple. Using Snap D, you can install it into next. Uh, and then classic support. Sounds good. So, um, when we're going to install uh, Snap. That is pretty basic. Clear the screen. Let's the command here. Snap is missing. Oh, it's not. Oh, I missed the one. Okay. So we have Fedora. And then get the installation for installing Snap D and Fedora. So there it is. Should be pretty basic. I have to update my article to include those things as well. Unable to find the match snap T. Mm. I'm also trying this for the first time, so that's why maybe I'm going to be able to show exactly what it is. Snap can be installed on Twitter and find account and install snap T. What about snap? Okay. Uh, 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 uh. So let's do some Google. Uh, 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 uh. Install snap 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 on yeah. Sorry, I had to do this in front of you guys, but yeah, this is also something question. So sorry about that. And um, yeah, we tried. It's not working, right? So, what could go wrong? It's my thing. Let's search this thing. Should we be an African? Maria HL8? No. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, Amazon Linux 2023 is it's new. So a lot of things might not be included if you like. But Okay, so uh, after doing some research, uh, there is an alternative uh, for Karen, and that is installing via pip. So while we tried to install it from the Nginx and uh, Fedora way, but that didn't work. And pip is, I think, a generic way. So because you can use uh, Python 3 to install pip, and then using pip, you can also install start, but that's pretty simple. So what we done here is this one. So we have to install Python 3, uh, obviously, something like this. This is for the Fedora. I just run this command into this uh, my terminal history. Yeah, this is one. So do you have to install Python 3 or obviously, what is this? If you know one, put a comment below. Okay, then uh, set up a Python virtual environment. That's pretty simple. You can just copy this and create a virtual environment in slash opt slash start port. That's good. And then uh, once you have created a virtual environment, then you can just uh, install pip. Once you have installed pip, and then you can install start port and start port nginx. Once you have installed start port nginx, you can create a symbolic link to that user bin start port. So that's I did. If you check my comments below, uh, these are my comment history. So yeah, here it is. I created a symbolic link and that's it. Now I can run this command, sudo uh, start into next. But before that, I need to create a server block. So how to create a server block here? Server block. I have an article here, I think, Nginx server block uh, to create a virtual host. I can copy this command and And I can actually uh, can actually um, just copy this. This is actually for like running on uh, Node.js applications with code 3000, but I'm not going to like proxy pass. What I'm going to do is like, I can actually copy this part. So, this is actually for PHP as well, but uh, let's just copy for this, this section. And I'm going to open a notepad and that's the domain name is like al xyz and then I'm going to do something like this. And I'm going to HTML. That's it. 
right? So, uh, let's get in there. Now I need to create those uh, file here. So, about HTML. Yeah, I need to create one. HTML in now the I were HTML slash index of HTML. Okay, let's write HTML tags. Okay. Head. Body. H1 high and then end of end of the body tag. Okay. Uh, 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 end of the body tag and then HTML sounds simple. Okay, now if I uh, restart Nginx, let's see what happens. Wait, restart Nginx and see what happens. Okay, let's see what Let's go back to our initial article. Oh, I just made the okay. we started. Now let's see if my uh website is showing up here. Okay, that's that's my <laughs> H1 tag. Now I'm going to install uh so so we search bot and right sounds good okay i am going to take the dot xyz yes i agree your terms and conditions yes 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 and the domain name is correct i'm going to uh, use the same domain name and now they will try to issue a ssl certificate and that's it it's been done so that's been quite a long. What's happened here? Next mistake. Okay. So uh, let me just happen. Why it's not auto redirecting? So let's go to the C. Uh, next. And on Turkey, should be. And this, uh, if I send a. Okay. Um, on, Yeah, going to see uh, it's not redirected, not redirected. Yeah, yeah, it is now redirected. So we have SSL certificate here. Connection is valid, and let's end quick. It's valid to July 23. So that's being said. Uh, this is for today. I hope you like this video. So Amazon Linux is a bit new, and it has a long-term support, at least five years. So 
I hope you should guys make a try and try to install it on your projects. Thank you and uh, have a nice day. Bye bye. And please subscribe to my channel. That will help me.